Hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Alone in the Dark for the new nightmare. Uh, why am I doing this game? Well, I like a challenge. And this game is certainly a challenge. Um, scary. And yeah, definitely a challenge. Why is it not quite this? That is spooky shit. What's going on? Aline. Aline. I've already watched that. Oh, shit. Ignore the brightness thing at the bottom of the screen. I don't know why that's decided to come up, but it has. Bear with me just why I sort these out. So give me two secs, right? No. 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 Come on, game. Start behaving yourself. No. No. I don't know why it's doing this. No. No. It's getting on my nerves. Right. I need to reset this, so give me a minute. Just give me two seconds. Where is it? Right. Time to reset these controls. Done. Get off me, bitch. Oh, loading. Get off. Okay, now it's quite a lot longer than what I wanted it to be, but... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me! Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This time, I'm not going to die in this next little bit. Because I'm going to drop a save state now. Move the mouse out of the way.
that, we'll drop a save that down here. Yes, I do want to climb the ladder and let's get out of here. Yeah, in this you actually have to physically climb the ladder, you don't climb it automatically like in Resident Evil. This, I remember, scared the shit out of me as a kid. What's that? Trying to save me? Yes, I shall. The gate seems to be sealed up. Yeah, in this game you actually have to physically move the light in order to find items. So there's only one one choice we can do actually, and that's open this. Do you want to open the casket? No. Do you 
unlock the gate. Carnby? Carnby, answer me! Aline, I thought you were dead. I did too. I'm not cut out for this kind of place. I want this to stop right now. I understand. You understand? You understand? You don't understand anything. I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want of me, but I'm asking for this nightmare to stop right now. Aline, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room. But I can't get to you. One of the doors is locked, and I can crack the other one, but there's some heavy object blocking it. When I think it's Obed Morton who locked me in here, and I wanted to help him. Don't move. I'll come free you, Aline. Is that the best you can do? Yes, that's the best I can do. Well, okay then. Hurry up. So we're inside the mansion now. Oh, crap. Oh no! Get off me, bitch! I need to... It's not healed me. Aline, any more news? I'm here waiting for you. What are you doing? Aline, I can't find the room in which you say you're locked up. It can't be that tough. I'm upstairs. There's a staircase in the lobby. Okay, I'll head over there. Thanks. Hurry up. Aline, any more news? I can't find the room. It can't be. Okay, I'll head over there. Hurry up. Shut up. Fucking moaning bitch. Right, I think we'll save it. I think it's just a chest of drawers. Well, then push it aside. Tell me what's going on. I don't know yet, but I do love your new outfit. It makes you look less, uh, you know. Yes, I know. <laughs> Here, I got your stuff. I Thanks. What about my jacket? Whoever locked you up in here probably thought it matched his hair. Listen, I should never have agreed to let you come along. Let you. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No. Were you? I'm not so sure. I have this feeling that there's more than one Obed Morton. It's way too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you where you can hide and wait for me. Uh, listen, Carnby. You know as well as I do that the safest place is at least two hours away by plane. I haven't done too bad up till now, and I sure don't intend to spend whatever time I have left doing nothing. I want to know. Just before, I heard this voice above us. There's a trap door. If you help me, I can reach it. Well, why not stick together? Uh, stick you and I don't have the same goals. I don't remember what you told me in the plane. Come on, give me a hand. What if I were to say no? Okay. You're not the type to say no. Thanks. No. There's a lot of sound glitches in this. I don't like it.
Aline? Dan. Aline? Dan. <sighs> An Indian posing in front of an underground door framed by two mountain statues. January 13th, 1963. Today I am 10 years old and mummy fell off her horse. She says she saw a big shadow jump up at, in front of her, which made Sudan rear up. Daddy made a doctor come from the mainland. He says mummy won't be able to walk or see, or see anymore. I wonder what it's like to be blind. I try closing my eyes, but it isn't the same because I can open them again. Grandpa Jeremy made a new machine. It's not like the all the others, all the other ones. It doesn't do much of anything. It is very funny. You can't. You can make photographs and move with it. He told me again, never to go near the gate. When I said that ob, that obed and I discovered it when we were playing in the ruins of the fall, he got really angry. I know Grandpa Jeremy can open it up. Maybe someday he'll show me. January 21st, 1973. Grandpa Jeremy died this morning. Father's sorrow doesn't seem great. Grandpa Jeremy never told me how to open the gate. When I asked him, he told me that if my desire was true, then I would find a way. Father has forbidden us from going to the fall. He has even changed the combination of the lock to the gate on the ridge. Uh, if, only I re if only I realized Father is afraid of the creatures of darkness, I'm certain of it. He has, he is a coward. He doesn't trust the weapons Grandpa Jeremy made. He said we were going to leave the island and that it was time we started living a normal life. I think Mother agrees with him. I don't want to leave, live anywhere, but here, that wor world of men revol revolts me with all its. Tri I can't read that word. There are uh, something, are. Uh, so crude. Man is so vain. Grandpa left me a letter and half a photo of us in front of the gate. I can even remember when he took it. There's a number written on the back of on the back, but I can't do anything with it. It's not the code of the formation board in it's not the code of control. It's not the code of the control board in the library. Why are they so afraid of the shadows of the night? I know one day I will learn to speak their language. I know that one day I will pass into the world of darkness and then nobody will be able to tell me what I can and can't do. Whatever is good and what is evil. Ja April 8th, 1992. It's a big day. The construction of my laboratory is nearly finished. I really need to o it open up. New visit... New vastest of my research. Obed is terrorised by what the pale reflection of a man understand. The Lords of Darkness are with me by digging the underground up the digging the underground gallery that leads to the tunnel they to the sacrificial chamber. I have discovered another way to get to the gate. So I won't have to clear Grandpa Jeremy's path that my idiot father made inaccessible. As soon as I get my hands on that translation, I'm so impatient and let's hope the Ender Shadow doesn't get into his head to start telling me how to behave again. I haven't, I've never done, I've never understood his real mot motivations. Grandpa Jeremy held him in a high esteem, but I know he is on the wrong side of the shadow. That when the moment comes, he will try everything to stop me from succeeding. I know that when time comes, I'll have to neutralise him. Him too. March second, nineteen ninety-five. Oh, there is actually a lot of stuff to read here, so I'm not going to read it all. I'm just going to let you read it. So I'm going to just skim read it.
Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Fuck that. Door seems to be sealed up. Bloody door in this place is locked. I know who you are and what you have come looking for. I was expecting you. Just stay where you are. Don't move an inch. Who are you? They call me Edenshaw. I am the guardian of this island. Out of the guardian? Guardian of what? And what are all these monsters? What the heck's going on here? Professor Morton has definitely crossed the threshold. Look, can't you spell it out? What is this mess? My weakness is to blame. I let children play with powers way beyond their grasp. But the legends were not wrong. You have come to us. My only hope is that it is not too late. Car this is all Greek to me. It will become clear soon enough. Go to the library. The books withhold many a secret. Also, take this charm. It will prevent you from falling into oblivion with all the others. Go, fulfill your destiny. Save us. Wait, wait. I didn't come here to fool around. I came to investigate Fisk's death. I do not know who you are talking about. My f Charles Fisk. Fifty-ish, about 6'1", graying hair. I still do not know who that is. You see, nobody's come to Shadow Island for months now. Okay, that's about enough of this. Oh, God. Oh, you gave me a charm of saving. Thank you, mate. Oh, light. What the fuck? Of ammo. Whoa. Oh shit. Right, 
Right guys, well, I'm going to call this video. And I'm going to thank you all for watching. Oh, I've got no time of saving. I'm going to I'm going to save the game on this, I think. I'm going to use that. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop me a like, leave me a comment. All that really does help me out. I'll see you all next time. Take care, guys. Bye for now.